This is the first mainline Transformers film to not have Michael Bay in the director's chair, only counting Bumblebee as a spin-off, and it really shows in the quality as many of his Bayisms are absent from the film. I enjoyed Bumblebee way more than I expected, so genuinely, I was excited to see this in theaters. I never saw any of the sequels in theaters before, and I assumed this is what it felt like. Just eh. The film focuses far less on the human characters and gives the actual Transformers a chance to have a big spotlight. Anthony Ramos and Dominique Fishback are a great breath of fresh air from Bay's stunt casting and unqualified eye candy. Then again, why do we even bother putting humans in these movies? We need to stop having the Transformers trapped on Earth. It's a cheap way to just include humans. Another small complaint is having Liza Koshy as one of the Autobots. Who is her manager? How did she get this role? It is painful every time she speaks. The CGI throughout is pretty stunning, but there are a couple scenes where I feel like I'm watching a video game cutscene, and there are some big parts at the end that really got to me, and they were so unavoidable, but like, whatever. The thing is that this film is so heavily CGI based that if there is bad CGI, it's gonna be noticed. One thing I never get tired of is the Transformers fighting. That's one thing Michael Bay always nailed and it seemed they realized that. I can't lie and not say I didn't spaz out by the third act. It was quite enthralling and I kind of gasped a couple times by the lawn shots and slow motion. I just wish it was a bigger event. It would be nice to have a Transformers movie that doesn't have like, you know, five Autobots. Give me a goddamn battle like Endgame. The movie delivers on its promise of bringing new elements to the Transformers universe though, while also honoring its legacy. But at the end of the day, I don't expect us to ever get a perfect Transformers movie because we will always have the human element that takes the forefront. With that ending and nod to a bigger franchise, we definitely are getting more human plot points. If you love Transformers, I think you'll be the most disappointed. If you want a good time, I would recommend watching this in IMAX like I did. I can't see the excitement of it anywhere else. It's a goofy, fun, and thrilling time that beats the first five movies by just a tad. Yo, Noah, take the wheel. Tune in every Friday for new movie videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what other movies you would like me to do videos on. Thank you, Mom, for editing the scripts for my movie essays. I appreciate you. Till next time, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.